Hey everybody, it's me RJ. Again, I know. I'm tired of my face. Sometimes I'm tired of it too. But here we are again. Today we're going to change the oil. Doing some spring maintenance for the XMAR Turf Tracer HP 36 inch. This is with the FH 541V 15 horsepower engine. This works the same for the FH like 380, 420, all those that are the V twin of these years from 13 up to 17. Okay? They're pull start ones. You'll know they look like this. They have this type of filter system. We pop open, look like this. They are all basically the same engine. They look like that. There's going to be the same filter for them. So we are changing these out with a CarQuest. Um, it is R85394. If you have a CarQuest or an advanced area, you want to get those, these will work. Um, it is also, if you want to order off my link below, there's three something each. I might get like 10 cents. It is the Fram PH49067. PH49067. I will put a link below. I'll put a link to all the stuff we use here. Um, straps, you don't need on this one, but on my Ferris's I do. I got a tool we're going to put in the link below. Um, You don't always need it. Sometimes you can just get them off by your hand. Huh. Yeah. All right. So what you're gonna do first? Jack it up in the air like I did on one side. Um, if you have this train, if you have the hose, uh, which my other mowers all do except for this one. This one's a mess. It drains and just goes down in the bottom by the axle. It's kind of gross. Put that oil pan under there. Put a jack stand under the deck. Make sure you get your parking brake on. And then tilt it and have a second person. You lift it up and have them shove it under here. Okay? So then what we're going to need is a socket wrench right here. See this? It's a little metal thing. They come with originally, but you can change it out and get a hose one. I'll be right back. All right, like I said, good old handy dandy 10 millimeter. I put one in the listing because everybody knows you can always use more 10 millimeters. They're always disappearing. Um, it's an awkward angle. We get it on there and it is right there. I'm sure this guy's here. He makes a mess always. And the way this works is it drains out the bottom. It's just not starting. Can you see Very it? Very slowly. Can you see it with the oil? Mm -hmm. Through the, I mean, through the stone? Yeah, I think okay. so. There we go. It's always kind of slow at this. There you go. All right. I'm gonna sit here and let it drain. Um, I believe it takes two point three quarts. Two point one. I think is what it uses. I'll look it up and I'll put Hold it on. That's all right. I'm going to list it below. So I'll be right back. It's 1.8 quarts for this engine. Okay? I just want to tell you that. It's still draining, so we're going to have a few minutes. Okay? All right? So here we go, y'all. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is why I recommend these. They got a little bit of a an angle on them. And watch this. Keith, grab right in there. Get it. Go up here, tiles here because it's going to make a mess. I probably should have changed this a second time last year, but it was done in March, which it is a little dark, but here's the deal it doesn't get used as much. New. What? Here. You can pick whichever color you want. Yep. I couldn't find better. Gotta write the date on it. Just today, the 19th? The 20th. 20th. So, three. Oh, that don't work. That don't work. We're gonna have to and get a better marker. That one don't work. That work. There we go. That'll work. 320. March. 
put 1.8. 1.8 quarts. Just trying to remember. I always get there doing it. I'm like, what is it? All right, y'all. So get this in there. See, I made a mess of all that oil. So I might get some clean paper towels to wipe this before you know, my hands to get this all cleaned up. So I can put that guy out. So you wanna go go to where it goes, and then we'll just be half turnish. Okay, there you go. We're gonna tighten this bad boy up and we're gonna fill it up. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Okay, everybody. Pull this off. Says for correct oil level, use AP1, SF, SG, SH, or SJ class, SA30 or 10W30. I'm gonna tell you this only use straight 30 weight, um, 10W, 5W, even the more say 15. Uh, in the winter, they don't do well, and in the heat, they don't do well. Just stick with 30 weight, it has a higher range. I don't know why. Yes, but I'm just telling you, when I've used machines other ways. They break. Okay? So on the conventional 30 weight, it's 1.8. This is Providence where they sell this at Farm and Home. Farm and Home, Rural King. Home. It's uh, the same brand. Rural King has a different brand. No, it's, okay. It all looks the home. same. Probably Orchards, anywhere you can go. Um, it's hard to find 30 weight at Walmart. They hardly ever have it in. If they do, it's the specialty kind that isn't the kind you can use. Does it need conventional non detergent? 30 weight. Okay. One quart in, pause it. Oh, okay. Here's what the Royal King carries. This might even be a Royal King, I don't know. Uh, usually I buy these, but every once in a while they'll have a sale where this will be the same price, and then I buy the one quart because it's just easier to do. Okay. Carrying a five quart around when you're trying to only do a little at times of paint. So it's 1.8. So i to pour most of it in there. 946 milliliters so with 1.8 you're going to want to leave 0.2 15 15 no 0.2 would be one uh point no like if it's yes you want to leave 20 percent of it you want to leave 200 milliliters ish yes. okay not a percentage so probably not 20 percent. i know i know the math is hard 1.8 quarts okay so Six, seven, eight, okay? That's eight. So that would fill, okay? And then there's a little more. So you want to leave, yeah, probably 200, okay? Math is math. Okay, and then you might need to touch up a little. Because 200, it's going to be a little more, less than 200 you leave in there because it's only 946, not a full thousand milliliters. Okay, see it? I'm nowhere near, so I thought in there. Build some 400. This is why it's easier with small bottles instead of trying to use the big bottle because you'd be trying to guess 0.8 of a quart or any quarts. Throw it the 300. Okay. Throw it the 200. That's it. So always keep one of these around if you buy these big boys so you can fill these up individually to do your measurements. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, everybody, pull that out. So I do it always. Shove a bunch of paper towel and leave it upside down. It does two things: catches all the old oil, and it makes sure dirt. If you have dirt, my garage gets dirty. I mean, everybody says, but the dust flying around doesn't get in here. Okay. Set on your shelf. If you're super nitpicky, clean. Well, then you know what? I don't know what to tell you. Second off, you're probably not changing your oil either. All right. This is a man's job. That's racist. Good? Is that it? Is that my whole video? Am mm. I done? That was the quickest job. Video ever. It wasn't. No. I took too long. Filter, I'm going to put a frame there. That's the cheapest one I can find on Amazon. Uh, the Super Techs are slightly cheaper at Walmart, like 80 cents cheaper. Um, I'll put a link to them, but I won't put a link. I'll put the number. Uh, but the frame you can order and have it delivered to your house. I'll put one of these bad boys. I'll put a socket. I'll put a socket wrench. Yeah, yeah that's it. 1.8 quarts. 
I would put 30 weight oil, but guess what? It's crazy online. Oil, it'll be like $72 for one quart, especially now. Right, actually $72 at the store for one quart now. Is that it? That's it? Okay. Buy some of the stuff, help me out. Commission's earned. I might make 10 cents. Help me, help you, help me. Uh, as always, I'm RJ. See you today, each and every day. And please like, subscribe. Every little bit helps during times. Okay, bye-bye.